Yesterday we found out that we just don't care about charity barity, but uh, today we're gonna find uh, something about ghosts in the library. Because creepy things. Wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep, ghost or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence and flew over it or something. While carrying something. Alright, oh, wow, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy, because he took someone. And he's con somehow connected to this thing I've been doing, and that's not very good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. That's okay, it was fine. Nice little study areas. <laughs> Obviously important computer of importance. Alright, there she is. Cool. Do the thing. So, I have no idea how to use it, really. I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise brought you this far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea was at least to do a little bit of research on it. If you think that's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aw. Oh. Aw. Are we with? Are we with? Ugh, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumb ass is in charge. Oh no, what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, my. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, how do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around, look at stuff. Find ghost. Okay, is, I knew it was the mine. Explosion occurred. All workers have been seized from mission to rescue 20, 20 dead. Oh no, it's it's until dawn. Explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine. Only one group of men are supposed to survive. Plummeted to their death. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. Main path tunnel caved into the explosion. Supervisors play this together. Yeah, that is, that's, that's until dawn. The dude from until dawn is trying to kill us. Yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Events. No ghosts to be found here. The way you say ghosts make it sound like you don't believe. Twin club with meeting on stags. Yeah, that's not relevant at all. Possum massacre. Severe violence broke out at the Safford mine strike today. Bosses attempt to renew talks, taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown. The National Guard and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd. What? After a few minutes, the smoke leered and gory scene revealed. Nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. The young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle who were on strike below when the shooting broke out. A photograph of the two children aged seven and nine were shot in the cold blood as circulated far outside of our little county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet with the strikers. Independent investigators, inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began. 45 days since the start of the strike? This is one intense ass strike. The bosses have agreed to comply with safety standards and honor the demands of the miners. That seems avoidable. No ghost. Drains but true. A tail of teeth. Oh fuck, we have a tooth. Hold on. I think that's the one, so I want to read that last. Final group of bodies from the 1887 explosion. Uh, the other three bodies belong to blah blah blah. Two Peters. I wonder if they're related. Peter the largest Just hungry with two orphans. Mine bosses, gas pockets, secretion, whatever. Whoa. Strike lumbers on. Two. Underground gases afflict many. Ten acres of land in the Possum Springs, blah blah blah. They're very anxious to be delighted. What? Increasing there have been southern side of the albino groundhog by a very reliable source. Leave him to his business, blah blah blah. Progress springs and possum springs. So most of this is just about building the mine. Local ghost little Joe at it again. Okay, let's read about Pie Piracy! I'm sorry, I have to read about Pie Piracy. Please stay Take note to keep your picks pies safe during the pleasant weather we're experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchens disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, the picky culprit is leaving behind only the rhubarb pies. <gasps> Disgusting. 
Until this criminal is caught and until the bad weather returns. We remind housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to rhubarb. Now ghost here. All right, we gotta read the tooth. New old store. All right, where's the tooth ghost? Oh wow, this is gnarly. And awesome, ha ha ha. Oh my god. Strange but true, going to use my wife again. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret society is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners consulted him while he was in the act. He denied everything, with many a slur, and punched the miners' leader, Daniel Glay, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Danny's tooth meant to him and descended on the boss. A few held down the boss while all, they removed all his teeth with pliers. Holy shit! The teeth were passed out to the miners, and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Membership was based on owning one of these teeth, and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the coal patch to make meetings and announcements. The boss survived his attack, but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. Um, implicating himself in what? He punched a dude. They tore his teeth out. Um. Anyway. Boss survived his attack. When... Wynn died a few years later. That's words. Uh, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed for going out for retribution. They would all gather around and place their teeth into the sockets and retrieve their tooth after retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. At the strike of 1889, society dwindles. Occasionally, the descendant of one of those men will find a tooth with strange markings in their house. Strange but true. So that's the tooth we found. Holy shit. Anyway, where is this little Joe? Ghost little Joe. Joe Shade. Minor and dying in mysterious circumstances. A favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His recent activities involve getting up out of his costume in the old section, nerving visitors in Deep Hollow Cemetery. Uh, graves, destination find where the youth passing springs. Erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lives, lies buried. The police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers. You may not find a ghost, but you'll see a fine for trespassing. Scooch so I can see. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, you're looking for ghost stuff. That's where they make a lot of them. Seems like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history? History that won't stay history. Haha, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Sighting of a blind new groundhog. And the other ghost one was over. Opinion line! We would like to remind you that men of town, please refrain from spitting on sidewalks. This unsanitary habitat habit is unseemly uh, beneath you. Parents, be sure your daughter's not participating in the new trend of skirts showing the ankles. <gasps> ankles? Goodness. I do not think we need to remind you of the rich road of brimstone this temporary fashion trend will lead your dear daughters down. Councilman Puchinsakia's plan for Third Street is a joke. What else is there to say? Young men have been around possum strings engaging in their ridiculous behavior of wearing mismatched patterns in their suits. This type of outfit will all be all in the bridge and bright harbor, but good luck getting any respectable businessmen around here to employ you. You look like rabid clowns. I've been witnessing more and more teenage girls coming to our town on Sunday night, unchaperoned, using vulgar slang terms, certainly unfit for me to print here, and blocking the sideways by walking arm in arm. They are loud and also flirt with boys while smoking cigarettes. These young ladies need to be stopped before our young ladies get any ideas or our boys fall in with the wrong girl. Anyway, ghostly rumors. Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. The Possum Spring Historical Society's conversion is the sh Shrygeist House. <laughs> Why is it named Geist? Like, that's just asking for ghosts. Uh, into the new headquarters and education center at Hizzida Stag. Custodial head uh, Jed Nasum has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours doing my work and I'd hear someone walking around, trying doorknobs. Came out to see who was fooling around, but there's never nobody there. 
trying to get this map room operational for the children to see while I'm looking at some of the other shoals doing God knows what. Mr. Nizum had previously requested to work only during daylight hours for staff were present in the building, but even that proved too terrifying. I won't go to the off-limits areas anymore. I don't go up to the past the second floor and then only to the office. I know the others laugh, same seeing little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe for the end of the is local ghost is probably popular years ago, blah blah blah. Ghost spotted. Historical society? History that won't stay history. In a history place! History place. Yeah, I've never been. You did go back in school. I think this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly watched TV and did therapy. Well, that's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be old by one of the old miners or something? Railroad? Mine? Steel mill? Something like that. An actual haunted house? Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have summer arts and crafts programs. Oh. Well, still worth checking out. I think we're done here, right? Opinion line. Yeah, I don't think any of these. Yeah, we already saw this one, right? I actually can't select that one. Weird, I can't exit, so... I guess I just have to investigate all of them. Did I miss one? Apollo Country Morn, so we already did that one too. Events. Oh, spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were started this Sunday when they hiked in the woods at Possum Jump. According to the bloodbirds, a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff in the open, into the open air, then disappeared. Forced to work as the next day, I was able to locate any evidence of someone having leapt from the great height. Leaving the exact nature of what the two solitude mystery. Decent hike in the state forest woods. Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. Also holds historical importance as the lonely graves of several persons involved with the Possum Massacre. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump? Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Oh, yeah, it's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go on. That's actually probably only a mile or so from Miss Miranda's house, back up in the hills. I'll cut the stuff up there. We'll try to avoid any basements or corpse husbands. Co-signed. Well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? No, that's a little more stuff. Yeah. Three clues, we got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. Alright, yeah, let's go. So we got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? <laughs> nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well I have, and you know, a job, and I can't drive around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard? I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to go to the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever heard that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Yeah, I don't think May is exactly one for the science types. What is this? Selmers, what are you doing here? What is... Shh. Is that Miss Quilsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She thought I was kind of a badass. Well, look out, we got a badass over here! School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of springs and entry soda cans. Oh man, I, I have the coolest art story. Well, I mean, not the coolest, but but for some reason, um, my my cool my school, um, uh, pretty big thing. Um, for some reason, the preschool was all the way over in another building. I'd actually never, I didn't go to that preschool. Um, and the art room is down in that preschool, so we'd always walk all the way over there, and um, it was kind of fun to get you know, a little excuse to go outside um, once in a while. Um, 
And so you're you're underground in this basement and just I don't know. Would your kid just anything weird like that is extra cool. And like in third grade, you you go you we would went we went to the to the basement. The both third grade classes were in the basement for some reason. Um, which was weird because like there's a, the, the school only had part of a basement, just those two areas. But for, it was really cool to be in the basement, especially when you're in third grade because like I don't know, you're a stupid little kid and stupid things are interesting. But it was it was cool. That's right. See, even Parker agrees. I think they pair in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Oh no! Do you want to stick around for this? I have to, I'm sorry. I don't even want to, but I will. Tonight we have a few poems for myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? Yeah. How'd she even end up here? Who knows? Ahem. Letter to my worst student. It's me. To my worst student, the subject of my stories. I tell friends back home. Then they asked about life out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry. At the end of my life, this is not rhyming at all. What? How is this a poem? You will be the only one I remember. Why did you keep my car? I know it was you. Brian. Thanks, everyone. That was not a poem. That wasn't even freeform. That was... Is that legal? Poor Miss Quelsey. Is that legal? What? Talking about details like students like that? She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time. Born in muck and raised in slime. At least this, is, at least this one rhymes. But neither do you know the past I've trugged. So it hardly is your place to judge. There's some poetic license going on here. Okay, that's one poem. Next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frogs wins in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibee? Mm. Yeah, this guy likes the poetic license a bit too much. That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Thank you, Catman Parker, for standing directly in my way. I can't read. You, why don't you sit down? You were just sitting down. You have really nice rim lighting on your fur, by the way, Parker. I don't, I don't know what it is about cat fur, but like, when you light them from like behind or whatever, like it, it it's, they look fancy. They look like they're Unreal Engine 4, you know, better graphics than real life. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really about worried about what fish think. That tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a ton. A poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Parker, please. Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny dorky short poems. I hope I hope my voice isn't too weird because Parker is obstructing the microphone. Hello. Yes, please sniff my face. Thank you. Why did you lick my nose? He licked my nose. Why did you do this? Why would you do this? Why don't you sit? I would I would appreciate if you sat. Don't put your nose stuff on my controller. This is a very expensive controller. He got his nose dampness on my controller. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> She's not wrong. Ahem. <clears throat> No reception here. I wave my black phone. Parker, please. In the air like a flare, like a prayer, but with no exception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. App sold, money sold. More money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. Don't bump the mic. Don't bump the mic. You are a very complicated hello. Yes. This, this is... This is, this is a hostile work environment. World where buying house jobs became frequent rent paying jobs. Became living with family jobs. What the? What is this paragraph? What is this? 
I hate this. This whole stand is garbage. Boy, billionaires. Money is access. Access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water. Alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is ours. Force 24-7. Entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm in the basement. I'm on the couch and in the basement. They're in the house and in the yard. What is this? At some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicone city to the ground. That did not most of that did not rhyme. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Uh she rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks everyone. Is she always like this? Excuse me. Could you sit down? Would you sit? It's poetry night. You have to sit down. Thank you. No. Wow. Huh. Oh, thanks everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was it the assumption that it didn't write herself? Nice work, work Selmer. I didn't. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Here we go now. Parky. Parky. Parky, please. Parky, please. There you go. Okay, thanks for coming. What is this? We live here. Right, so. Okay, I think this is big. I think this is a big thing. So, I'm going to cut it here and we're going to do the witch séance thing tomorrow, I guess, or whatever the hell this is. But yeah. Stay tuned.